immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of them to the other side. So it's now another story like the first, and they go into the other side, right? So remember that that's the fullness of it. That is the original promise. We go into the other side. Don't lose sight of that. Matter of fact, in your own life, when God gives you a promise, don't lose sight of the original because a lot of time can pass, a lot of hardships can come that kind of skew the memory of what God first said, right? But God said, let's go to the other side here. While he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, and you know what we're about to read. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly you are the Son of God. Now watch this and listen closely because I promise you ain't heard it like this before. Jesus comes walking on the water. And most of us aren't even willing to get in the boat and cut the ties, the vine, leave one shore for the other because all of a sudden we just think we are adrift, we in a current, and we don't know if God is going to show up. But I promise you, the one that spoke, I will never leave you nor forsake you, like I ain't ever going to abandon you, he will show up. And in the dead of night, in the struggles and the turmoil, he showed up walking on the problem, right? Walking on that water. And they were terrified at his presence. I promise you, baby, if you are willing to follow God and get off one shore to go to the one he has decreed you to go to, he will show himself in it. Always. You ain't doing this by yourself. I promise you. He ain't sending you somewhere he ain't willing to go himself. Matter of fact, he is leading and guiding. If he says go, he is not two steps behind you. He is there with you in spirit. Now watch, watch, because we miss it because of the miracle again. It's so easy. Peter says, if it is you, tell me to come to you on the water. And Jesus says, come on with it. And Peter gets up out of the boat, steps on the water, and begins walking on it. And we like, oh, he's walking on water. But then he sees the wind and the waves, gets terrified, begins to sink. And Jesus says, oh, you of little faith. Now, what's he talking about? I'm going to challenge you with something. I don't think it's merely the fact that he was seeing the wind and the waves and he was sinking in water that he lost sight of. Because when Jesus said, come to him on the water, that was a secondary, baby. The first promise overrode the second promise. He said, we're going to the other side. And Peter, thinking he about to drown in it, forgot the first promise. He forgot that he wasn't going to drown in the middle. And when God calls you off one shore to go to the other, don't you dare think you're going to flounder in the middle and die in it. God is with you. He is for you and not against you. He will take you to the other side. So I don't care what happens in the middle. You best believe the first promise that God spoke. Peter took his eyes off the promise that God spoke to him. We're going to the other side. And he says, you have little faith. Why did you doubt? Doubt what? That I'm going to take you all the way through. That I'm going to make good on my words. I'm going to take you to the other side. I don't care what wind, what waves come. You think it's because I'm walking on water? It ain't got nothing to do about that. You doubted the original promise, boy. Where is your faith? I said to the other side. I didn't say you were going to sink in the middle. Don't get it twisted. It ain't about this. It's about that. So many of us miss the forest because of the trees. We let the little things, the problems we're dealing with now, overshadow the great promises of God that he landed on in the beginning. And God is trying to warn us not do that. Because his promises cannot be undone by a problem. I don't care how big. I don't care if you sink in the water. The original promise stands because your God created, period. So don't have little faith in what? Not in the situation, in your God. Because his original has always, always enduring. 